so I decided to pick up my younger brother because, um, as little Dickie says, you gotta save that money and I'd rather spend it tonight at the game. So I'm here at uh, Amelia Earhart, really nice little school. Um, yeah. Yep. Now getting ready for the game. It's a seven hours till start time, so um, I'm gonna go buy some markers and some face paint. Um, next time you hopefully see me record, we'll be at the mall. Uh, hey everyone, I'm here in Alameda Landing. It's pretty much the new hotspot in my hometown, Alameda. Gonna go to Michael's. Just got some Panda Express. It'd be really cool if they actually maybe sponsored a video. Just heard that Sunny Gray kind of got uh, scratched off tonight for opening day because of food poisoning, and that kind of bummed me out, but still, go A's. I'm done shopping, I only got, I only got um, a silver and a black sharpie for opening night tonight. Right now I'm currently at my little secret spot. It's not too much of a secret, it's um, this place in Vienna Bay here in Alameda. It has a beautiful, gorgeous view of um, the bay. Um, I'm gonna try and do like maybe a 360 type of thing. We... Uh... Maybe I'll try and do that again, but the camera pointed the other way. But um, I normally come here to just relieve stress, think to myself, you know, it's it's been a part of my life for a good chunk of it. It's I enjoy it here. It's quiet, and especially on a gorgeous day like this, it's. It's just beautiful. So maybe I'm going to do it right now. So over here is my little hometown of Alameda. I call it the white town next to Oakland. Um, the rest of the bay, somewhere over there, it's like San Mateo, San Mateo Bridge. Um, let's see. South San Francisco, and then my favorite place in the world, San Francisco. Love it there. Maybe one day I'll do a vlog over there, but you know? I'm here in Bayana Bay, and I'm gonna rest and enjoy my time till I pick up my younger brother. It's all done. See ya. This is my view getting out of here. Beautiful city right in front of us. Beautiful view to our left. It's beautiful. It's great. I shouldn't have used beautiful three times, but um, yeah. Here we are at Oakland Coliseum. So this is the view I got. Pretty good. Freaking great. It's um, section 124, no 16 seats. Hey! 14 to 20. 16 to 20. Go away. Um, hey guys, I kind of got back. Um, it's just a bit past midnight. So technically speaking, it's Tuesday. My voice is pretty shot. They's lost 4 to 3. I'm gonna do my own little recap because I guess this is technically speaking my own daily vlog. Rich Hill looked a bit shaky. Um, this was definitely a winnable game. Bullpen was extraordinary though, and Billy Butler is proving why last year was just the fluke for him. But if all in all, I hope Sonny Gray gets better. He might be gone for a week. Uh, food poisoning is a bitch, but um, excuse my language, but if history has taught us anything, A's losing the opening day means postseason. So. I'm gonna get some rest. Hopefully the person who gets Tuesday slash today does a fantastic job. See you guys later. Okay, hello. So it's Thursday and this is my day to do a vlog. A vlog. And I just came back from my friend's place, which I should have probably vlogged there, but my phone's been broken for a long time, so I haven't really been able to, you know, vlog on the go even though i didn't really do that before anyways i was at my friends and we we're gonna film a review for batman versus superman we ran out of time but we're still gonna do that but um 
it's gonna be different than the other one because that one was more of an initial reaction type of you know like what do you think you know I'm gonna say a lot more than you know, I loved it but I hated it you know I'm just gonna say more than that and um yeah it should be very fun I'm probably gonna film it next week it's gonna be a different group of people and it's gonna be part of an ongoing segment where we review movies it's gonna be me and one of my friends and we're gonna talk about just the big movies not like every it's not gonna be an every week type of thing just more like you know the movies that we are really excited for like this or captain america suicide squad maybe jungle book i'm not sure but maybe um if it has enough to talk about um you know um dr strange you know just stuff like that just like the comic book movies so yeah we're gonna be doing that probably next week and i'll probably release it uh, maybe thursday or friday that'd be cool be more of an analysis and just like you know things that we think could have been better you know stuff like that rather than just saying like oh this part was cool that part was cool you know talking more in depth about it and stuff like that and we'll just do that more often and that's all i'm thinking about right now um yeah that'd be cool <laughs> okay so it's kind of late or er, like later it's still thursday but it's kind of later i was thinking about the batman thing i was talking about the batman superman movie i was just thinking about what stuff i didn't like what stuff i did like and one thing I just as a little build-up teaser thing i guess i guess maybe but one thing that didn't make sense that i was thinking about and maybe someone can answer me i think it was one plot point i never really liked it was the whole um Lois Lane investigates, you know, the bullet and stuff like that, the magical bullet, like that leads to Lex Luthor being bad or the reveal of him being bad. But my problem with that is, why would Lex Luthor, if he's trying to stay undercover, have magic like prototype bullets in the desert? Like, why would he give them mag like specific bullets that only he has made? Like, you know, like they offered no kind of um like trade off. You know, it wasn't like you know they hurt superman or you know they like were armor piercing like special bullets they're just like specially made bullets that just you know stuff like that makes me kind of not like the movie it was only there so that lois lane could find him it seems like even because then um which doesn't make sense because he could have easily just kidnapped her anyways it's not like he needed her to know but yeah anyway, i'll get into that thursday next thursday maybe friday i don't know when we're gonna find out, but i'll get into it when i do my review so it's gonna be cool and um that's it for me for thursday i didn't do much and i'm gonna hang out with my friends this weekend and i think that's about it i'm still learning what a vlog is so be patient with me. <laughs> what was it oh dang it i was gonna do an xavier quote but i forgot it <laughs> i feel like i'm in bohemian rhapsody is this the real life <laughs> There's just probably queen of the darkness behind me. Um, patient. Ah, oh, whatever. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, bye. <laughs> Hi, friend peoples. It is one in the morning-ish. So, bit of an update. In the last video, I said I had like a salivary gland thing. It wasn't salivary glands. It was uh, lymph nodes. And it didn't get better with time. Well, it it did. It just required pain meds and bed rest. But things are better now. Um, weekend was unproductive, which is arguably good. But now I have work to do. And in eight hours, yeah, eight hours, I have a math class. So I should go get ready for that. <laughs> Okay, talk to you guys later. Hi, so I was here last week and there was wind and sun and it was a very bad vlog. But I'm here again and I'm just watering the camera there, it's better now. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm here again and there's no wind, not really any sun either. But it is raining, which is nice. Birds are chirping. There's a small aircraft somewhere over there. Can't see it though. This fog. Yeah, it, um, fun. Hi, it's Friday. There's beach behind me. Yeah, it's still raining. I had a math class this morning, talked about calculus and 
stuff. And now I know more. Oh, a bird flew past. I'm gonna go follow it. So, it turns out that birds can really move fast. And now I'm somewhere. You can kind of see behind me and I'll just turn around slowly and pan around and around and around. So, I can kind of get an appreciation for where I am. And then eventually I'm going to figure out how I'm going to get back to where I was. Yeah. Oh. Solution. Eventually. I could swim. I could go that way. This week was fun. Yeah. In physics class, we talked about Fourier series. But it was an afterthought, and like half the homework was on it. So, that was fun. I'm just looking at the grass there, and there's tiny little droplets, I don't know if you can see, that are just drip dropping away. Yeah. Oh, more birds. They're going the direction I need to- oh, they stopped. I should probably stop recording and save battery. Okay, so here's a question. If birds are dinosaurs, then does digging up a dead bird from under a couch make me a paleontologist? I, I'm I'm waiting for the response. Um, I'm not hearing anything, so I'm gonna stop. There's a plant there, and there, and there, and just like yeah, plants. Oh, there's yeah, there's a path, and plants, and plants, and plants, and like a, a plastic cylinder, with another plant in it. Oh, and another plant. Okay, and for this week's idea of the week, I was thinking, hey, I eat bananas. But when I eat a banana, I don't eat the whole thing at once. I'll eat part of it, and then set the rest down, and then eat the rest of it later. But what if I want to eat the rest of it hours later? Then what? The banana's just gonna go all bad. And I was thinking, hey, what if there was just like some sort of container or shell or sleeve or something that's like could go over a banana and make it not go bad like, like actually I think I just described a condom I will get back to you on this also I'm on the ground in the middle of a nature area and there's a rock in my back and it kind of hurts I'm gonna stop filming now hi I'm in a different place now my jacket's the same color as the bush behind me. Oh, and I have homework. I need to find my way back and do that. Or, or I, I've been working on a program that's like a chatbot. And I've written chatbots before, but they've all been really, really bad. Because I teach them how to speak bad. And this one's going to be good because I'm using actual human written text to generate stuff. Keep you posted. There's another bird up there. I'm looking at it. I don't want to move or shut off the camera because it might fly away. Oh, it got closer. I'm gonna turn the camera around. I'm just like, maybe? Over here, there's like stuff. Up there. Ooh, big bird. There's a big bird just like right. Okay. Probably got a really. Yeah, good job right there. Just you can see the big bird flying away. Okay. 
Where'd my glasses go? That's my laundry. It's getting washed. It's all wet now. Yeah. It's gonna be like half an hour till it's done getting washed. My clothes look all soggy. I don't think I'd want to want wear them right now. Yeah. Last night got pretty crazy. We ended up playing six dimensional tic-tac-toe on a whiteboard here. I lost a lot. And I won a bit, which was nice. And it hurt my head a lot. And then we had fun. Yeah. And then I just sort of collapsed from mental exhaustion. So that happened. Other than that, it's been a really fun week. It's been things happening. Met up with people and did stuff. And now I have to do homework all day because I haven't really done work all week. Yeah, it's going to be fun. I'm just going to sit somewhere and work for hours on end. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I'm just going to blow off an hour or two first. Yeah. Sounds like fun. Anyway, I will talk to you guys in the new week. Or is it vlogging? Is vlogging a form of talking? It's certainly free speech. And free speech is free speech. Does that mean that vlogging is free speech? Huh. It should be fun. We're going to do a lot more than, you know, what we did last time, which was mainly just us doing our initial reaction. And it's going to be a different group of people, and it's going to be part of an ongoing segment where we review movies. It's going to be me and one of my friends, and we're going to talk about just the big movies. Not like every, it's not going to be an every week type of thing, just going to be like, you know, the big